Hey there everyone, today I'd like to take a casual peek into the Iron Man 2 movie series War Machine action figure. The Iron Man 2 figures uh, have hit uh, wider distribution in the beginning of March and uh, they're flooding the uh, big chain retail stores now and I was able to find this figure set at a Walmart uh, just uh, last week for about seven bucks. Uh, Let's go ahead and take a look at the figure in the package. You can see here, uh, close up. Um, based on the footage I've seen in the trailers, uh, it, look, it looks pretty close to uh, the war machine that's going to be uh, coming in, out in the movie in a couple months. That's pretty neat. Uh, it comes with the three armor cards and the uh, two guns that can be mounted on the shoulder in there. It's pretty neat. Taking a look at the back of the package here, you can see a description for War Machine. And you can see uh, the War Machine figure here. And it comes with a launching missile. And uh, there are uh, three previews uh, on the back of this card. Uh, we have Iron Man Mark III, Iron Man Mark V, and Iron Man Inferno Mission Armor on there. Uh, let's go ahead and open this guy up and we'll be right back. Okay, we're back and War Machine has blasted out of his packaging and I have to say right now that uh, this movie series War Machine has replaced the uh, movie series Iron Man Mark I as my favorite figure out of the entire line. I haven't opened the comic series War Machine yet but um, this movie War Machine is just really too cool and has to be my favorite. Okay, uh, let's go over the accessories because I really want to get to the figure. And um, the first set of accessories is the three uh, armor cards. They're basically overlay cards and each card has a portion of the armor and a portion of the code. And then when you combine them all together you get the complete code down here and the complete uh, layout of the armor. Uh, you can mix and match, like from other uh, sets, like like I have here, and you also get a different code uh, when you, when it's all combined. But the problem is, um, I don't think you can access this code because right now, when you go to the Iron Man card website that's listed on here, it redirects you to the Marvel website, which is kind of a bummer because I can't find anything through that Marvel site. It's just really poorly designed. Uh, if anybody can find where I can uh, play around with this stuff uh, through the Marvel site, let me know. Uh, next accessory is the display base. Each of the figures from the Iron Man 2 line come with one of these. And it's pretty cool on there. And it also comes with uh, grooves to put the overlay cards on. Right there. And... Uh, Usually uh, most uh, figures that have a firing missile come with a uh, one projectile, but I, uh, War Machine is just too cool. He gets two of them, <laughs> which is really neat. Um, he, one of them is a like a looks like a flame uh, type of design. It has a semi-translucent uh, red there, and then also one he gets another one here. Uh, that looks like some sort of warhead or device and they both fire out of the larger cannon uh, and it's spring-loaded and does fire quite far uh, another accessory is the uh, ammunition belt and this is my only complaint about the entire figure uh, set um, this uh, ammunition belt uh, is pretty loose when you um, attach it to either cannon um, it doesn't stay on very well and tends to pop out easily on there. Um, which I'm not going to complain too much because I don't plan to use this much anyways. It's a nice uh, effect uh, when you can get it on to the uh, cannon, but uh, it's a, that's a, a minor thing for me. Taking a look at the figure, now we have here War Machine firing in all directions right here. The detail on this guy is really nice. 
I have to commend uh, Hasbro on uh, the design of this war machine. Uh, the Iron Man 2 line in general has been uh, pretty high quality, I believe. Uh, better than Marvel uh, Universe, that's for sure. Uh, but the uh, Iron Man 2 line is just really, uh, really top notch. Uh, there, it's, um, there are a few misses in the paint schemes of the uh, Iron Man figures. Um, but over, uh, overall, it's pretty good. But this War Machine is really nicely... Uh, Detailed, nicely painted, uh, really articulated. I can't say anything bad about this figure. It is just really, really, really cool. Um, you can see here he has his uh, two main cannons. Uh, they're attachable through a, a ball joint. Uh, he has two of them, and they're both the same size, so you can um, mount it on whichever side. Uh, doesn't matter. And it does... And what it does is it actually swivels to the back and um, when he's, I guess, in non-combat mode. But when he's ready to combat, you can just uh, swivel it back uh, up front, which is kind of nice. And here's the, the big uh, cannon here. You can fire the uh, projectile. Uh, there's a button on top here. But just looking at the details, the paint applications, the numbering apps on here. You know, if you can see that. It's just really nice on there. Just nice and clean. Uh, the joints are not too uh, loose, not too stiff. Um, I've had uh, a couple problems with the Iron Man uh, 2 figures, like the Mark III with some stiff joints on the hips where you had to really work it to, uh, to get it to move okay. Uh, but these are just uh, nice and smooth. I have uh, had no problems whatsoever on this and also the shoulder uh, guards uh, they swivel up so you get, that allows you to um, articulate the hand of uh, the arms and on the uh, Iron Man ones uh, they were detachable but once the uh, shoulder armor was in place uh, you couldn't raise the arm but this one allows you to to move the arm up which is really nice uh, let's go over the articulation of this uh, figure. The head moves back and forth. Um, it's kind of restricted with the armor design on here, so you can't really move it all the way around. Uh, the arm does go all the way around, does go out and in. Uh, the elbows, they bend, and they also, also rotate all the way around. And if you work at it, the wrists also uh, rotate all the way around as well. The torso goes all the way around and does go up and down a little bit, not too much on there. The uh, legs, uh, they rotate all the way around uh, on a swivel on the ball joint here. And the ball joint does actually, uh, you can actually move the uh, leg up and down. And you can actually rotate the, the ball joint itself as well. So you can get the leg uh, going out, in, up, down. Uh, not to the back uh, too much though. Uh, the knees, they're double jointed at the knees. And the feet uh, do go down and up. And they also go all the way around as, as well. So overall, I'm really impressed with this figure. Um, it is my favorite figure out of the entire Iron Man 2 line so far. Um, and I have about uh, five of the figures. So uh, I still have to open the uh, comic series War Machine, to, com I guess, to compare it with. But right now, this movie series uh, War Machine is really cool. And uh, based on the trailers I've seen uh, so far... It looks uh, pretty accurate. Uh, this figure looks pretty accurate to the war machine that'll be in the movies in a couple months. So, but um, this is a definite uh, must-buy. If I uh, could recommend uh, a figure from the Iron Man 2 line, this would this one would be it. Um, that's it for my casual peek into the movie series uh, War Machine. Uh, thanks for watching. And I'll see you next time.